Damn, son. Over here at the warehouse, just grinding. Typical Friday, about to break out of here. Gotta go head out to LaGuardia Airport. So I'm going into the trenches right now. Like New, New York City, the virus. Gotta stay safe, gotta stay protected. Our warehouse right now is more packed than it's ever been. About to hop in the car, head out to Manhattan, check it out. Going into the trenches right now. Um, so there's been 50,000 deaths from the coronavirus in the United States. And 11,000 of them are in New York City. 15,000 in New York, which includes uh, the five boroughs of New York and New York State. But if you're from the East Coast, the Northeast, you know, New York, you're talking about New York, you're talking about upstate, like upstate. You'd say you're going upstate. You know, it's like, so you're going to the city or you're going upstate. There's no, like, New York. So 20% of the deaths that are happening in the United States are in New York City. Uh, but I'm on my way there. You know, I'm gonna be documenting the journey. I'm probably gonna swing by some of the uh, you know famous locations that a lot of you would recognize, Times Square, uh, maybe swing down by the World Trade Center, uh, which is the Freedom Tower now, but it'll always be the World Trade Center to me. And uh yeah, it's, honestly, I've been wanting to do this for a couple of weeks now. I've been going to the city for, like, taking the train since I was probably 15 or 16 years old. Me and my boys would hop on the train, head out to Manhattan, spend the night out there, just partying, wiling out, and then, you know, take the, the first train the next morning. So I'll take like a, you know, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning train back home. And I've been doing that for, you know, 16, 17 years now. Manhattan and just New York in general holds a special place. I, I practically, my house is 20 minutes from Manhattan, so I, I like to go there frequently, not as much as I used to. Sometimes I forget that I live 20 minutes from the largest city in the world. You know, people travel from all over the world to come spend time here. So I got a lot to be grateful for. In the past couple weeks, I've been just thinking like, I really want to go to the city and just kind of experience what it's like to be in the city with nobody there because always, always, always tons of traffic, you know, bumper to bumper, um, you know, a 20 minute drive might take you an hour and 20 minutes, if not longer, depending on the time of the day. If it's rush hour, forget about it. You're going to be sitting in traffic forever. So kind of excited just to kind of you know see what the city's like just driving in the streets nobody out there it's going to be kind of cool you know it's, it's very unfortunate the reason why it's empty as far as pollution goes you know the world is seeing a dramatic decrease in pollution and emissions and, and now that's pretty cool you know it's 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 interesting how like all of this this whole situation this pandemic kind of presented all of these new uh, solutions and, and new problems really in all aspects of our life like never did we think that if something like this happened like it would clean up the pollution and the emissions and, and, and basically make the world a better place you know so well, we all had to step back and kind of realize that and, and now we're able to appreciate that but like if, if life just kept going and going I don't think um, I don't think we would a know it was possible B be able to appreciate it so yeah yeah it's just it's all crazy stuff you know I know for me a lot of gratitude came out of this I always try to find gratitude in, in every single thing that I I participate in or I'm a part of but right now I'm on route 80 fun fact about route 80 route 80 goes from the George Washington Bridge which connects New Jersey to Manhattan all the way to the San Francisco Bridge which is over in San Francisco, California. So if you got on new on Route 80, you can literally drive on it the entire way across the country. Now, if you were going to go cross country, it's not the most exciting drive driving on Route 80. I've driven cross country. Um, I decided to take the scenic route. We cut down through Nashville, hit Flagstaff, went through Texas, did Vegas, ended up in San Diego. So if you're looking for a little more of an exciting journey, 
then you definitely don't want to take the Route 80 route because it's just a highway. So it's just trees and that's it. Exits and, you know, stops to get gas and some food and maybe spend the night. But as far as like excitement, zero excitement traveling Route 80 across the country. Um, I've actually been cross country two times. The first time I was young, maybe like 16. The second time I was young too. I'm like 19, but it was a journey nonetheless. Uh, the first time I went with my dad and my brother, we were dropping my brother's car off in Cali. And then the second time I flew out to see my brother, my brother was going through a breakup with his girlfriend. So he called me up, he's like, yo E, can you be out here in like two days? I'm just gonna pack up the apartment, take the dog, and I'm out here. This chick played me out. And I was like, Kirk, I got you, bro. <laughs> so literally two days later, I was out there. We packed up the apartment, packed up Napoleon, the dog, and just, dip down that was a fun time that was a wild time but um but yeah so that's enough out of me I'm just rambling now people probably think i'm crazy driving by actually not really i could be on the phone nobody knows but i'm making youtube content so yeah i'm about uh i don't know 15 20 minutes out I'm gonna take the g dub george washington bridge to manhattan then i'm gonna fly over to LaGuardia, and then i'm gonna come back and on my way back i'm gonna hit up some of these uh Times Square and just kind of see what's going on. Maybe Columbus Circle, you know, Central Park. So we'll check it out. to slow the spread of coronavirus. Text COVID to 692692 or visit nyc.gov slash coronavirus. About to arrive at my first destination. I'm out here in Queens, LaGuardia Airport. Pick up my boot day. She's a trooper. Hopped on the plane from Texas. She's like, I gotta see you. I was like, can't argue with that. I want you to come out here. And here she is. I'm super excited about it. I haven't seen her in over a month. So I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, first stop, stop number one. Here we come, baby. Guardi Airport. This is crazy. I've never seen New York City like this. It's wild. The streets are dead. Like, look at this. In front of me, it's just straight empty. It's wild. What blows my mind right now is that, like, there's no cars parked on the side of the road. So, like, on a normal day, 9 million people live in Manhattan. But on, like, a Monday through Friday, 13 million people are in Manhattan. That means 4 million people commute to Manhattan. And, and that's why the streets are dead, because it's a Friday at, what, 2.30? And nobody's even here. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's an experience and a half. I can tell you that for sure. Pretty. Pretty. Like this. The like giant a, it was like a postcard. <laughs> what is that? What even is that? What did I just witness? For what? From underground. What? You, where the Ninja Turtles are? Yeah, it's where the Ninja Turtles are. I'll be like the boyfriend that takes the photos and like get you all your angles and everything, you know? About to be out here in the streets right now. Got a mask up, you know? We don't play that. We don't play around. <laughs> mask up time. Let's do it. All right, so we just hopped out the whip. About to just take a little spin around Times Square right now. See what's going on in the streets. Out here, the shit is dead. It's crazy. So, from like a regular city goer, this shit is crazy right now. Usually, this place is like packed. I'm talking thousands of people. You can't even move. People are all over. And look at this. There's fucking nobody here. This is crazy. There's nobody here. It's just us. There's some stragglers here and there, but... And I'm so hungry, but 
I think we're making the executive decision not to go, right? In anywhere? No, not for, going. Just for safety reasons. I don't think we're gonna go in any of these places. We'll go eat in New Jersey. Right there, right here, that's where the ball drops. And literally, like, I think it's like two, 1.5 million people are cramped in this bitch. Well, not today. Are right, you ready to get out of here? Yeah. Let's go. You successfully made it out alive. That's it. A little tour of New York City for you all. For anybody who's wondering, it's a completely different atmosphere out there. It's dead. Smash that subscribe button. Stay lit. Right there? Yeah, everything looks empty. All right. Uh, Look shocked. Show me shocked. Show me shocked. <laughs> yeah. Great. All right. Let's go. That's it. That's the thumbnail.